This is your 420 Radio News for Monday, March 31st, 2014. I'm Russ Belleville. D.C. Marijuana Decriminalization Bill signed into law from Normal.org. This afternoon, the simple possession of small quantities of Marijuana Decriminalization Amendment Act of 2013 was signed by the mayor of the District of Columbia after being approved by the city council in a 10 to 1 vote. This measure amends the punishment for the possession or transfer of up to one ounce of marijuana from a, from a criminal misdemeanor punishable by up to six months incarceration and a maximum fine of $1,000 to a civil violation punishable by a $25 fine, no arrest, no jail time, no criminal record. Due to federal oversight of the district, this measure will not officially become law until it is received by the U.S. Congress and undergoes a period of review. The review period is likely to extend into late summer. We will update you when it has been finalized. If Congress chooses not to act to overturn the measure, it becomes D.C. law. Virginia voters back medical marijuana 6 to 1, Quinnipiac University poll finds from Quinnipiac. Virginia voters support medical marijuana by an overwhelming 84 to 13 percent margin, but support for recreational marijuana is divided, with a large generation gap and a smaller gender gap, according to a Quinnipiac University poll released today. Support for medical marijuana ranges from 75 to 21 among Republicans to 92 to 6 among Democrats and from 81 to 17 among voters over 65 years old to 90 to 9 among voters 18 to 29 years old, the independent Quinnipiac University poll finds. Support for legalization of marijuana for personal use is 46% with 48% opposed. Democrats support the measure 58 to 35, with Republicans opposed 68 to 27, and independents divided 47 to 47. Men support it at 52 to 43, while women oppose it 51 to 42. Voters 18 to 29 years old supported legalizing marijuana for personal use at 71% versus 26% opposed, with support dropping through the age groups. Voters over 65 years old are opposed 66 to 24. Marijuana is equally as dangerous as alcohol, 47% of Virginia voters say, while 36% say it is less dangerous and 14% say it is more dangerous. Marijuana use does not lead to the use of other drugs, voters say 51 to 41. If marijuana use were legal in Virginia, 62% of voters say it would not bother them if neighbors grew marijuana in their home. Republicans and voters over 65 years old are the only listed groups who say they would be bothered. New Jersey prosecutors, it's high time to legalize pot from app.com. Proponents of legalizing marijuana in New Jersey received a boost from an unlikely source, the very people who prosecute pot users. The New Jersey State Municipal Prosecutors Association has come out in favor of legalizing possession of marijuana. The support of the Prosecutors Association comes as two bills were introduced this month in the legislature and as polls show a majority of Americans favor legalization. One of the bills, introduced on March 10th, calls for a referendum asking voters to legalize the possession of an ounce or less of marijuana. It is sponsored by Assemblyman Reed Gascora, a Democrat, and Michael Patrick Carroll, a Republican. Carroll said, quote, if it were up to me, I would make all quantities legal. Why should the government be in the business of criminalizing marijuana? All it does is create administrative Al Capones and puts the power in the hands of gangsters, end quote. Idaho authorities used license plate profiling in traffic stops, says Colorado Man from OregonLive.com. A 69-year-old retired Colorado business executive is suing Idaho law enforcement authorities for detaining him and searching his vehicle after a traffic stop last year. Darian Rawson found, filed a lawsuit last week in U.S. District Court in Idaho. He accuses local and state police of, quote, license plate profiling, end quote. Colorado is one of two states with legal recreational marijuana programs. Marijuana is outlawed in Idaho. Supreme Court won't hear appeal from cops reluctant to return pot from U.S. News & World Report. California resident Valerie Oaken is one step closer to reclaiming medical marijuana seized by Arizona police near the Mexican border in 2011. The U.S. Supreme Court declined Monday to review state court rulings that found Oaken is entitled to the return of her marijuana, currently held by the Yuma County Sheriff's Office. Arizona's medical marijuana law, ratified in 2010, allows reciprocity for out-of-state medical marijuana patients, but the Sheriff's Office argued returning the drug would violate federal law.
This has been your 420 Radio News for Monday, March 31st, 2014. I'm Russ Belville. When we come back, we'll give you exclusive coverage of the Oregon Medical Marijuana Business Conference yesterday in Eugene, Oregon, and an interview with the Oregon Cannabis Industry Association's Sarah Jane. You're listening to the Russ Belville Show on 420radio.org. We'll be right back. <laughs> 